in, 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 in. for a fourth one, we're gonna do a bonus. Bonus! <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Different Breed and we're going to be throwing out some cams today. If you want to contribute to this series, snap a pic or take a video of a cam spot and how to throw it, then post it in the Discord in the Gadget Spots channel. The best ones will be featured in a future video. Don't forget to tell me what social media you want shouted out as well. Let's build the best cam spot collection ever seen. Today, we'll be focusing on the west side of the roof on Canal over by the sky slash upper bridge area. And then there's one that focuses on almost everything. This first cam that we're gonna be throwing out is gonna be outside of this printer window right here. Now again, you don't have to hit the glass, I'm just doing it for uh, visual purposes. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna break down or you're gonna start putting up the barricade in case you get unaligned. You're gonna crouch, you're gonna lean over. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to aim for this little white cloud here. We're gonna aim right for the middle of it and then go a little bit down and then let it go. And it's gonna land right on top of the satellite here. Now, if we go ahead and look out here. Oh, there's the thermite already out here. Oh, yeah, that's all right. So <laughs> we're gonna be seeing the window and the whole west platform basically. So if they're trying to shoot inside of that window that's over there, that's on the end of the sky bridge, area i don't i forget what that room is called uh, but if we're if someone's trying to shoot there or they're trying to get into the printer window over here themselves then we can go ahead and see everything over here and if we look as the thermite and or if we look as the attacker we can see that this cam is gonna be pretty obvious when you're on it and it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb like hey i'm a camera so don't scan on this camera and you can see you know it can blend in with the uh, sky a little bit, but it, not a whole bunch. But if we get off of the camera itself, then we can see that, hey, you know, maybe it'll get overlooked because it's on a black little surface over here. So it's, it's quite possible if you throw this a little bit more to the left. So if you aim for that cloud, uh, I think this is actually the cloud that we were looking at. If you aim for the cloud and then you aim the middle of it down and then a, maybe a little bit over to the left, then you'll be able to get this a little bit more in front than on the side. So that may help a little bit. I'm not 100% sure, but who, who really knows? Either way, you can try this out and, and see if that works out for you. And if you try this out and then you don't like it, it's gonna be too bad because you just, you can't get this. And for our second cam, we're gonna be coming up the white stairs here. We're gonna open up the door. Now this one can be really hard or a little bit more simple and easy. You're obviously gonna be protected from spawn peaks, so you're gonna be fine. You're gonna come out here and then you're gonna toss the camera right up underneath here. Now you can do this without being detected. If you come out here, you toss it and then you come back here like that. You can do that without being detected and get it right up into that corner. And then this camera is gonna protect the same area that we were just looking at except it doesn't see all the way to the east like that, like this camera does over here. So we can see behind this uh, HVAC unit here. However, with this camera, you can't see the west side behind this HVAC unit, but you can with this one, mostly. If we move over with the thermite, then he's actually gonna be hidden behind there too. So you can't see it completely, but if he's gonna be peeking the window, this isn't peeking the window here, then you're gonna be able to see him. If he's all the way up against the HVAC unit, peeking the window at a at a pixel-ish angle, then you're not gonna be able to see him, but you can hear him, maybe? So if you're just kind of watching out for that, then you can do that. But you can see more of the southwest side of this as well. So you can watch out for if people are coming up and you can try and like maybe get some runouts on them or just make sure that they're not doing any funny business over here or something like that, but yeah. This is protecting this printer window here if people are gonna try to come in this way. If we're looking at this as the attacker, then it's gonna be a little bit, you know, obvious since it's a, it's a one of those dark cameras with a light or dark areas with a light bright camera. Like, yeah, it's gonna be obvious. The further away you are from it, the more obvious it's gonna be. The closer you are, the less obvious it's gonna be. And if we're off the camera itself, then if you are trying to look for it, then you might actually overlook this just because of the way that it is set up. It doesn't look like a camera because of the, the one of it is just like completely black and it kind of blends in with the shadows itself. So you might get away with this. You might not. 
but if you're trying to protect the printer window, this one can be pretty good. And if you decide that you don't like this one, you can actually go ahead and run outside and grab it. So for our third camera, we're gonna be running out the exact same door and we're just going to toss it pretty much anywhere on this HVAC top unit. You can do this undetected if you just run out and toss it and then come over here. And this one is gonna be able to see this west area over here, not exactly printer window itself, but we can see the bridge and over on this east side, right where the thermite usually breaches. And I feel like it's gonna be mainly for that. If we're looking for a camera though in this area, then it's gonna be really, really obvious because I mean, it's a camera on a solid background. There's not really any hiding it. So good luck with that. But again, you know, obvious cameras sometimes get overlooked and, and here's a thought to do it. It is not gonna be too, too like obvious from the light, but if people are getting spotted and they're like, where is this camera? And they look over here, then it's just going to be like, oh yeah, here it is. Here's the light for it right there. But again, you'll be able to see if the thermite is going to be placing and you can tell the band he's going to be placing. However, you can't tell him which panel he's going to be on. So yeah, good luck. But if you decide that you don't like this one, you can always come out and get it. And, 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 and. For a fourth one, we're going to do a bonus. Bonus! Yeah, so here we're going to do something really, really difficult. We are going to run outside. Now, this one's going to be a little bit tricky because you are going to be detected and people are going to be possibly spawning and walking up these stairs as you're trying to do this. So... Fingers crossed that they don't see you do this, but check this out. If you run out, you come over here, you toss it up, and then you can toss it right on. You toss it up, and you can toss it right on. Go ahead and toss this out. If we go ahead and toss this out and land it on. If we go ahead and toss this out and land it on the. All right, now that we have some more time to actually look at this camera, if we come out here, then we go ahead and toss it actually out and get it on the light pole itself. Then. This isn't terrible getting it on top of the light post, but if we look as the thermite, it might be a little bit more hidden on top of the light post, just, just to get a little bit more of a vision here. So here's the top of it. It's not gonna be super hidden in the clouds just because of the way that it is. Um, so I would rather get it in front of the light pole. But like I was saying, if we can get it back in front of the light post, which is like, I thought I was better than this. And as you can see, this one's a little bit more advanced and difficult than the other ones that we have done. But if you put it right here on the side of the light post like this, and I'm just going to put this away so we don't have to see that I'm detected and all that stuff, uh, then we can see a lot. This is an amazing camera. We can see basically all of the cars over here. We can see down over here in front of the sign. So if you're trying to hold a reception, we can see in the trench. We can see on the roof on the west side, not the printer area, but that's all right. We can see all the way on the east side. We can see even almost, almost a whole bunch of the green and red windows area over there. It's a lot that we can see. We can look, you can see the thermite right now. His little head's peeking out, oh, look at that. But you can see a lot from this camera. This is a great camera. And uh, if someone gets spotted on this camera and they're looking for it and they saw that you were detected, it might be a little bit more obvious than I, I'm hoping for, but with the light on, yes, it is 100% visible. If you're scanning the area, yes, it is 100% visible. But if I get off of this camera, this dark camera on this dark light might get overlooked. So if someone scans on it, just tell them to get off of it and quickly get off of it and then leave it alone for a while and then get back on it later. And hopefully people will not see it. But this is, I would say it's, it's very goodly hidden on this light pole when it's when you're off of it and you're not on it but we're, we're not here to see it being off right let's check everything out that we can see so if the thermite is trying to breach this wall we're gonna be able to see and help the bandit hey he's on this panel he's on that panel boom easy if the thermite or the attackers are coming over we'll be able to see them run across the bridge and then we won't be able to see them at the windows, but if they get onto the corner of this area, which is pretty common when they're switching places, then we'll be able to see that. And they're basically anywhere on the corner is, is they're stuck. This is how far I am from the corner and I can still kind of see. So if I'm backed up even a little bit, cause people aren't like right on the corner themselves, then you're gonna be able to see these people as they go back and forth, which is definitely really nice. 
And like I said, you can see people over in the trench. They're just looking at this door, trying to like pixel peek this door and see if everything is good. You'll be able to see people here, which is crazy. I didn't even think that, this, that we were gonna, you know, get this a cam that can see all of these things. This is like uh, one of the best cams that I found on Canal. If it can stay up and stay alive, it's just, uh, it's gonna work out really, really well. But again, it is obvious as you can see. Oh well. It's just something to really try because it's definitely worth using and uh, obviously you just you can't get this if uh, if you want it back. You're just out of luck. If you want to protect areas of other maps, check out the playlist of my past cam videos linked on your screen right now. Don't forget to post your spots in the Discord. Until next time, stay different.